How's it going fabulous TAs? In this video, I'm going to share with you an easy way to divide fractions. Hello there and welcome back to TA in Control. My name is Lauren Reesner, and here I give you the tools and resources to be a teaching assistant working at your most confident best. And as I said, in this video, I'm going to share with you an easy way to divide fractions. So let's dive right in. The aim of this video is to show you a way to divide fractions. The method in this video may not be what you are using in school. I am using it to make dividing fractions easy for you to understand. If this video make, helps to make you feel comfortable, more comfortable about dividing fractions, and you'd like me to make more videos on this subject, please let me know by giving it a like and put a yes in the comments. Firstly, let's remind ourselves of the anatomy of a fraction so that we recognise what the different parts of a fraction are called. So if we look at this fraction, 3 eighths or 3 over 8, the upper number is the numerator. It tells us how many equal parts we have out of the whole. The lower number is the denominator. It tells us how many equal parts we have all together. So this fraction is telling us that we have three equal parts out of a total of eight equal parts. Now, the good news is that dividing fractions is as easy as multiplying fractions. In fact, it's identical to multiplying fractions apart from the very first step. So a half divided by, the half, by a half is the same as a half multiplied by a half, apart from one thing. And the one thing that makes dividing fractions different from multiplying fractions is the reciprocal. To create a reciprocal, you turn a fraction upside down. So one over two becomes two over one. 3 over 4 becomes 4 over 3, and 7 over 8 becomes 8 over 7. Creating a reciprocal allows you to multiply instead of divide. Reciprocals make dividing fractions easy because they turn them into multiplying fractions instead. And we know from my video about multiplying fractions how easy that is. I'll show you where you can find that video at the end of this one. So a half divided by a half becomes a half or one over two times two over one, the reciprocal. It's important to say that you only change the second fraction in the calculation. This is a good example because the answer will be obvious to you. A half divided by a half. This is asking you to find out how many halves are in a half. And the answer is one. There is one half in a half. And I'll demonstrate that here. So you take a half divided by a half. That becomes a half or one over two times two over one, because that second fraction you've turned upside down. You've created it into a reciprocal. Multiply the numerators. One times two equals two. And multiply the denominators. Two times one equals two. Just, that's just a multiplication of a fraction. So you get 2 over 2, which of course equals 1. Now I've shown you how this works, we'll do another one. So we've got 5 over 8 or 5 eighths divided by 7 over 10, 7 tenths. This looks a lot more complicated. Who knows how many 7 tenths there are in 5 eighths? But using a reciprocal is easy. So 5 over 8 divided by 7 over 10 becomes 5 over 8 times 10 over 7 because that second fraction you've turned upside down, you've created the reciprocal. Multiply the numerators, 5 times 10 equals 50. Multiply the denominators, 8 times 7 equals 56. And your answer is 50 over 56. And as you can see, 50 56 can be simplified to 25 28. Watch my video about simplifying fractions if you're not sure how to do that. Watch this video as many times as you need 
but that's all there is to it. Easy, right? So, what have you learned in this video? You have learned, one, to divide a fraction by a fraction, you have to turn it into a multiplication. Two, to turn a division of a fraction into a multiplication, you have to use a reciprocal. Three, a reciprocal is the inverse of a fraction. It's where you turn the fraction upside down. So for example, the reciprocal of three over four is four over three. Four, you always use the reciprocal of the second fraction in a division calculation. Five, if you want me to produce more videos like this, you need to give this one a like and put a yes in the comments. Your likes and comments will help this video, this channel to survive and stop it from drowning amongst all the others. So the big takeaway from what you've learned is that something that sounds scary isn't scary when you decide to engage with it. By deciding to engage with it, you take control of your own learning. Your belief that you can't do maths was instilled in you when you were young and had a teacher who either was bad at teaching maths or a teacher who struggled to teach all the children in a class of 30 or more. But you are an adult now, so you can choose whether this outdated belief impacts on your role as a TA or not. I have some related videos you might like to watch. I'll put links to them in the description below. Here's how to get to the description section if you're not sure. You can find the link to the videos I've mentioned by looking at the description section. Here's how you get to the description. On your phone, tap the little V under the video to expand the description section. On your laptop, click on show more to expand the description section and I've given you screenshots to help you further. Oops, let's go back. Now, if this video has been helpful in any way, please reciprocate by giving it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button along with the bell icon to ensure you get to hear when I've uploaded a new video so that you too can find out what a difference TA and control will make to your working life. And if you haven't yet, come and join my Facebook group, TA and Control free group and get access to all my free and paid resources. Thank you.